Good morning. We are going to present you the following article called What is happening in the process of engaging architectural students and teachers for including virtual and interactive systems in the project developments. This article belongs to our coordinated project the so -called, of the so-called Retos of the Ministerio Español, Challenges of Spanish Ministry of Competitiveness. The competitiveness program will last five years from 2017 to 2021. Basically, we can resume the context of the project in various aspects. The new, the new information technology. Basically, we can resume the. Basically, we can resume the context of the project in various aspects. In the application of new information technologies to complex learning environments, in using a project-based learning approach, and in using gamified virtual reality systems. In order to improve spatial competence in a formal and informal education, informal education means to improve proficiency at interactive school levels, and with a formal one, we mean using, um, using the interaction of citizens and users. Without forget the teacher perception and the adaptation in their subject. We can affirm without doubts that the process of using complex systems in something that is regulated and even indicated in various studies regulation in order to implement them and improve their motivational capacity and student understanding, but this is really not happening from a practical point of view. From an exploratory point of view, what have we initially done? We have searched the perception of students both at the beginning and at the end of the degree to find out which is their perception of complexity about the various systems used both at an educational and professional level. We have seen that there is a perception of high knowledge in the traditional systems. How could you expect students have a lower knowledge perception in complex system and also have a higher perception of difficulty? And curiously, we have found a perception of the small motivation to learn that has surprised us. Why complex system, but at the very same time very interesting for professional life and for learning systems, has been perceived in that way by students? Why students are still more interested in learning classical systems? in working with models, freehand drawings, scan system instead of augmented virtual reality. Now we go to the next level, which was to evaluate what teachers think from a point of view of professional use and personal motivation in these same systems. We find out relevant data. To begin with, as well as in the educational part or of the students, there was no difference, for example, by gender, it exists in this case. We found out that between male and female teachers and professional, there is a significant difference. In professional use or in the motivation to learn, the interest is higher in the case of female gender. If we expand the study as shown in the article presented in team, and we look for a differentiation by age based on a more junior or senior profile, we end up finding out a digital divide very clearly identified by age in the relationship between the possible incorporation of these systems in subjects that are being studied and their relationship with the degree of personal knowledge that teachers have. In any case, those teachers who are older neither have the desire to use them in their subject, nor do they have the desire to be motivated to learn, and even their degree of knowledge is not high. So, here, there is a point of controversy and perhaps explanatory of why finally students don't aim to continue motivating themselves to learn this concept, since the information received by the teaching staff of a certain age is that complex systems are not necessary. This may come from a current conception of how to work in technical subject and in project subject, and how perhaps one should work, that is, mixing the concept for a better fusion, trying not to separate these subjects but to work them together, above all to break an age gap and by gender. Working together the capacity of students, we could generate an improvement in education and in this case in the architectural field. 
so far the presentation.